What is Red Kratom like? I took Red Kratom for 30 days. I wanted to see if it would help me with my depression. I heard a lot of positive things about Kratom. I've heard a lot of negative things about Kratom. And here's my unbiased opinion on Red Kratom. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. I lost a wife and a father to suicide. I'm diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, depression, anxiety. I've struggled a lot in life. I struggle with self-harm. I take meds. One of the meds, though, that I cannot take, and I've trialed and errored it with, are a lot of SSRIs. If you don't know what an SSRI is, an SSRI is Lexapro, Prozac. They're antidepressants. When I tried a lot of these SSRIs, they actually had the reverse effect. They made me suicidal. Now, I'm very, very pro-med, so if you're on those meds and they've helped you, congratulations, awesome, don't stop taking them. For me and some of the other people out there, though, they don't work. And so I wanted to find something that maybe would help me with my depression. I went through a really bad depressive episode for a very long time. Some of it was situational in life, and I had to make some changes. But I was, during this, I was, I was looking for something. I was looking for something to help me, and so I started trying with Kratom. Uh, I heard about Kratom. I heard a lot of the benefits to it. I also heard that it was addictive, and I heard some negative stories about it. And so when I did it, I wanted to let my doctor know. I let them know, hey, I'm taking Red Kratom. I'm currently on Adderall. At the time I was taking, I was on Adderall and Xanax. And the doctor said, hey, if you notice any big changes, let me know. Because Kratom is legal to purchase. It's not an illegal substance. In four states, it is, though, marked as a uh, scheduled drug, uh, categorized the same as heroin. Now, Kratom itself is a... Uh, it's a tea leaf root, whatever you want to say, from Indonesia. There's, there's red, green, and white kratom. There's, there's gold kratom now. And they have a lot of healing benefits to them. When I took red kratom, the biggest thing that I noticed, one, is my mood. My mood was phenomenal. It literally broke me out of the depression. As an antidepressant, red kratom was phenomenal. It truly got me motivated, excited. I was happy with life. That was the amazing thing. I thought I found literally the miracle drug with red kratom. Um, didn't have any kind of body aches and people told me it would probably make me lethargic. Red Kratom is the one that a lot of people use to get off of heroin or to get off of opiates because it does hit some of the same brain receptors. And so people were like, hey, it's going to make you lethargic. It's going to make you tired. It had the opposite effect to that. I mean, I was full of energy. I was full of life, always in a good mood. It really amped me up and it complemented my Adderall tremendously where I never had the dopamine drop. If you're not sure what a dopamine drop is, Dopamine is a happy chemical in your body. When it goes away, you really sink into a quick, heavy, hard-hitting depression. And with Adderall, Adderall sparks your dopamine, and Adderall is known to have dopamine drops with it. Taking Red Kratom, I never had a dopamine drop. I felt amazing. And I could feel when the Adderall was wearing off, but I wasn't sad. I was still happy. I was still excited. I was still filled with energy. It was a really amazing feeling. And so... My the whole thing with Kratom is, I mean, Kratom is great. And if you're using it for the right reasons, great. But is there a bad side to it? Yes. The, the other side of it that I found, besides having all these wonderful benefits, was I went through withdrawals when I stopped taking it. I wasn't taking a lot of Kratom. I was taking Kratom in a capsule. In each one of these, it came 150 count. And the Kratom content per 150 count on these was 650 milligrams per capsule. So I was taking four capsules in the morning and I was taking four capsules in the afternoon. It's not a high amount of Kratom. I know people have taken, um, you're talking 10, 15 grams of Kratom. You cannot overdose on Kratom. Your body will reject it. You'll start throwing, uh, throwing up. Your, your body's not going to accept it. Uh, I never wanted to get to that point with it, but I wanted to be able to use it as possibly a tool. And as a tool, it was great. I mean, if you're out there and you're using Kratom right now, you probably know some of the benefits to it of your, your mood. You don't feel any pain. Your body feels good. Your mind feels good. Everything feels good. But I have to say that as an addict, when it came to my drug of choice being cocaine and alcohol, going through withdrawals, it's not fun. You realize that your body became dependent on this and you're getting the hot and cold flashes. You're getting the restless legs. You're getting the constipation. You're getting the upset stomach. You're getting the irritability. You're getting the inability to sleep. I mean, it made me insane for about a week. I went through withdrawals on Kratom. And so it was one of those that you really have to weigh it out if you are willing to risk getting onto something that's going to have withdrawal side effects to it. For me, Personally, I loved Kratom. It was a miracle to me, but the side effects outweighed the benefits because the going through withdrawals, knowing that my body became dependent on this, knowing that I am an addict, it made me worried. I didn't want to become dependent again on something else. Uh, I do see how this can help somebody, though, even lessen 
when it comes to any of your withdrawals, when it comes to heroin, when it comes to opiates, I know some people are afraid of methadone, some people are afraid of Suboxone. There's a lot of different tools out there. One of the biggest ones though, especially if you're trying to get sober and you wanna use this as a tool to get sober, which I did not do. I use this as a tool for depression. This was not a tool to get sober by any means or to try and get sober or get off of these different drugs. Um, the thing I could say is, is get the support, let people know that you're struggling, let people know that you're an addict, get with some of the programs out there, because if you were to go straight this, I mean, this is something that you can easily relapse right back on. I mean, I was, I was never a, a, a heroin or opiate addict. It was never a drug that excited me. Cocaine excited me, alcohol excited me. And so when I was going through withdrawals of these, I didn't have an urge to use it because I knew what my body was going through. It never gave me a feeling that I was so drawn to that it was like, hey, I got to do this again. Uh, there was one time during, I think it was day two during me detoxing off of this that I did think to myself, hey, I have to do some work. Maybe I should just go buy a bottle and taper off of this. I didn't taper off of it. I didn't think I took enough that I needed to taper off of it. And that's the thing that scares me. That's why my unbiased opinion to it is I'm not a fan of Red Kratom. My unbiased opinion is, is if you're, especially as an addict, starting to question, should I taper off of this? There's a problem. So I don't see the benefits of the, the antidepression was good enough for me to say, hey, this is great. Uh, again, I'm never going to bash anything out there. I am very pro-medicine. I'm, I'm very pro-trial and error. If you microdose and microdosing works, great. Because life is a fight. I mean, I attempted suicide in 2018. So anybody that finds a tool that helps you fight through life, props to you, man. And if this has helped you get sober, this has helped you get sober and awesome. Do you. If you want to learn from my experience, though, for me, Red Kratom is a no-go. Even though it helped me massively with my depression, it did not help when I was starting to get off of this and I went through withdrawals. I'm not a fan of it. So that's my opinion on Red Kratom. I'd love to know your uh, input. I'd love to hear your comments. Comment down below. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor. I'm not a therapist. I just like to share from experience to let you know that you matter, to let you know that you're not alone in life. And you pulled yourself out of a lot of dark places. And for that, I'm proud of you. So you don't give up. You matter.